Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're doing our longer readings from February 1st through the 15th for my Aquariuses. Happy birthday, my Aquariuses. Yes, this is the longer reading I use for decks of cards. Start with my Radley Valentine Angel Tarot cards for the main message. Then I go to my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards kind of fill in some gaps. I then ask for words of advice from my Osha Zen Tarot cards, and then I finish with my John, I'm sorry, with my Radley Valentine Archangel Power Tarot cards. And yes, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest couple of things going on. Um, I did mention that when Aquarius season was starting, right before that time, I would post under the community page, also in my Facebook page, a website that I kind of like. And it, it does cover Aquarius energies. Uh, so that is done. Also, too, um, full moon is on the 9th, and that will be in Leo. Now, Leo is the opposite sign of Aquarius, so expect some really big things happening. Remember, Aquarius is the time that, you know, you're, you, you are, believe it or not, you are trendsetters. You like to break free. You like to walk your own path. So, you know, just you know, just remember that when with that with that Leo full moon, Leo, you know, Leo is a fire sign, air and fire combustible. So just you know, kind of think of it as um, hmm, you know, kind of getting making new norms, kind of kind of blowing away some of the old energies. Okay, okay. Also, too, happy Valentine's Day on the 14th to all my Aquarian Valentines. Now, let's go right into our reading. I will post things in the community. When I can do it in the community page on YouTube, I do. Not, it doesn't have everything. My Facebook page is probably a little bit more, is, is more re robust. I do go on to Instagram and Twitter and Pinterest also, but... Usually it's my, I would tell you, it's usually my Facebook that gets the most, and then I go to my community page, and then the others too. So let's go right into our readings and see what we have for February 1st through the 15th. All three of your cards are reversed. So that means that, you know, face down, reverse, strong energy here. Pay attention. Also to remember, I'm an intuitive channeler. And what that means is I open myself up to my higher power, spirit, and whatever the message is that needs to come through, it just comes through. So let's see what we have here. First card. We have the king of water. Water. Okay. Okay. My, like I said, my trendsetters, my, you know, you tend to walk your own walk. But this is water energy. This is our Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy. Now remember, Pisces follows your sign, but it's not there yet. Okay, we're, we're, you're going to be coming up to it. But this is kind of a... So, so maybe this is because of Valentine's Day. Maybe not. But there's a softening. There's a softening of your energies. There's a softening of what you're looking at. There's a softening of your heart. There could be, you know, and with this, it's like you are... you. You, you know, it's almost like you're in love with the universe again. Maybe if maybe not quite so much to that point of total love, but it's like you have a, this is a total softening of your energies. Remember, water energy, emotional and fluid, okay? King of water, king of water is trustworthy, compassionate, respected, and cultured. Open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. Opening your mind, you know, I'm not opening your heart, you know, to those around you. Again, what you put out with energy, it does come back. This is part of that law of attraction. If you want to put out negative energy, negative energy does come back. Now, that's not to say that you put out positive energy and that, you know, that there aren't, that everybody is roses and sunshine around you. No, because they all carry around their own energy and life does happen. And we do have this mix of this light and dark. But, you know, my, my Aquarius is, this is your season. It's your, to I mean, this is your time. And this is, again, this is the law of attraction. I'm feeling very much the law of attraction for you. So what you put out 
will come back, especially on that emotional front. Next card, the Nine of Fire. Now, this is again Fire Energy Leo. You know, so watch for something around the, well, the Ninth, right? I said the Ninth, and that's the, you know, Nine of Fire. So something with that. So watch for this around that time. Fire energy is not only Leo, it's Aries and Sagittarius. It's also very passionate. It's very burning. It is very commanding. And again, my Aquarians, the air sign, you breathe life into that fire. You make this go. So watch for something around that full moon. Um, but this is, you know, this woman, you know, this is a female. I love the strength of this card. Now, there's a, this is kind of that double edge, though. Because one of this is, this is a very strong energy card. This is like, I call her the um, dragon tamer or the dragon slayer. But at the same time, you know, while that's great and, you know, you need this, it's kind of this, you know, this, um, you know, you're, you know, standing tall, standing confident, doing what you need to do. And, you know, there's two ways of looking at it. One is it's pushing you forward and it's pushing you into that next step of your journey. Or it could be that you could be facing a challenge, especially, I feel, you know, there's something with the nine, especially with that ninth of February, that you need to be, you know, you need to stand tall, okay? This is about standing tall. So, so it may kind of be, you know, here it is, there's this positive, there's this, well, I shouldn't say, you know, emotions generally, you're going to keep it on that positive side. There's this emotional energy going on. There's this, um, you know, this, this feeling of, um, I don't know, is it, you know, it's feeling of actually finding your place a little bit more in this universe. But then and there's also then there's this energy that's basically saying you got to stand tall, you got to, you know, you got to stand tall and you got to go for what you want. Okay. So don't give up. Protect that which you have created. Have courage and believe in yourself. Then we go to our last card. Again, these are all, you know, reversed. Four of air, your energy, okay? Also, Gemini and Libra energy. Your thoughts, you know, very intellectual. Are you hearing news? Things like that. And this is about taking a break, taking some, you know, taking some time off. This is stepping back a little bit. So maybe it's not necessarily even taking a vacation per se or getting out of town a little bit. But this is about stepping back. This is about maybe kind of looking at the scenario, maybe looking from a higher purpose, a higher viewpoint. This is I feel like this is about you needing to step back a little bit so you can see which direction you need to go because things will be pushing you forward into those directions. But you know, uh, with this, with this, and look for it more so around that ninth, because again, those nines are jumping out at me with this. Look for it, you know, actually, I'm thinking even from like the three days before to the three days after. Um, look for something to be pushing you forward, standing your ground. And this, you know, you need, you need to take a little bit of a time, a little bit of a break. You need to also, you know, connect with whatever recharges your battery, if that is your higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, divine, whoever that is, this is a time to recharge also, because, you know, I feel the current is extremely electrifying around you. So time to rest or take a vacation, allow more time before making a decision, meditation may provide answers. So you've got to hold, you know, the thing about this thing too is, you know, don't let the emotional shift, okay? Don't let the emotional shift keep you from, you know, your focus, from where you need to go. Sometimes when the emotional shift, when you're feeling more, and you know, when you're feeling more um, one with the universe or more, you know, more loving towards human mankind, sometimes you become, a, you know, not you per se, but just in general, everyone, you know, they feel, they feel like, well, okay, I'm going to step back and just let things unfold. This isn't really a great time for you to step back. I know I want you to get outside of it so you can get that better viewpoint, that, that you know, but it's not a time for you to stop, okay? Don't, don't stop. Don't procrastinate. Keep moving forward, okay? Hope that made sense. Okay, my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. Let's see what we have here for my Aquarians. Let's see. 
beginning couple of weeks of, okay. Let's move on here. Okay, one card has popped out. It is face up, but it's reversed. And we're going to pull two more cards. One and two, face down. Okay, your first card, this is the reversed one that popped out, Temptation. And this is where I was talking about. You know, sometimes when things feel nice, when things feel good, you know, again, it, you know, there's, there's this, you know, it's a human, a, a human tendency to say, you know what, I'm in a good place. I don't need to um, keep going. Um, remember, you know, and, and that's where I'm feeling with this. I'm feeling like you're in a good place emotionally. You know, there, there's, there's this, maybe it's gratitude to the universe. Maybe it's love, but you're in a good place. Don't let it keep you from you know, from going forward. You need to still remember to protect. Protect what you've made. Don't give up, okay? And I have a feeling like, you know, that you, you just might be kind of in that, you know, you, like you need a little reminder just to, hey, you're so close. You're so close. Keep going. Keep going, okay? Now, next two cards are face down, so let's see what we have here. Okay, reversed. Remem remember, we love her. We love her. I love her. I love her. New beginnings, the fool, you know, um, leap of faith, whatever, whoever, whatever we want to call her. Determination. I love her on the nine of fire because I love the determination on her face. Sorry, her face. And I love the uh, determination on her face. You know, even if she's not totally prepared for her journey, she is setting forth on her journey. She is going. There's, it's been enough. There's been enough time waiting. There, there, there's been enough time wasted waiting. Okay, it's time to move. It's time to start. It's time to make take some action. Don't let the temptation of just because you're feeling like, hey, you know, life is great. Life is good, and that's wonderful. I want that for you. Don't, you know, don't, don't let that um, keep you because. From this is your time. Use your birthday season to push you into whatever it is you want. Okay? Okay. Next card. Okay, again reversed. And here is intuition. This is, you know, again, I'm feeling like that full moon, that full moon, Leo, opposite of your sign, plus or minus three days. You know, I feel like this is going to be a highly, you know, again, connecting with that higher power, that supernatural being. I feel like this is going to be a really strong connection for you. So, you know, the thing is, again, I I don't, again, I don't want my Aquariuses to stop. You need to keep moving forward, especially now. So, you know, you know, I, I know a lot of Aquarians and you have so much intuition. It's like, well, I knew I should have done this. I just did it. No more for that. No more. You have to actually, you know, you need to act upon your intuition. Now, you know, what's the best way? Um, you know, a good measurement of that is as long as it doesn't hurt you and it doesn't hurt um, anyone else, you know, then try. Try. Okay. It's like that driving the car and you're driving the car, and you feel like you need to turn right, and you just don't do it. And, you, you know, so part of it is um, you never know what would have happened if you turned right. Part of it is then, you you know, you continued or you got a ticket, okay, type of thing. And if you would have turned right, you might have avoided that. So the thing is, again, it, is it going to hurt anyone to turn right? No? Is it going to make you late for work? No? Turn right, okay? Okay. So now, let's go on. Any words of advice for my Aquariuses? So really interesting energy for you. This is a great, t again, this is totally, totally in your season. Um, you know, this is your time to use it to ignite you, especially around that full moon. I, you know, it, you know you're, this is a time, okay, that one came, flipped itself, okay. This is a great time for you to, you know, I feel like you, you could be, you could rocket forward, my Aquariuses. You just need to um, stay motivated. You need to stay motivated. So you can rocket forward in, you know, is this in your job? Sure. Is this in your, your any of those relationships I talk about? You know, job, job, career, work, 
intimate, personal, interpersonal, or family? Sure, okay? This is that time. Use it. Use it. You know, use that time. Okay, one, two, three. We got two cards, actually, that have popped out. The third one is pulled, and we'll put that there. Your first one, again, best words of advice. It is reversed. Here it is, guidance. This is, again, connect. Connect with your supernatural, you know, whoever that is. Connect with that being, that power, you know, Connect with your spirit guides, whoever that is to you. Connect, okay? Try to do this especially, you know, I do feel like you need to do this quite often during the week because I think that when you, it stills your mind a lot, you know, because your mind keeps racing forward. Um, so when you wake up in the middle of the night, you can't sleep. Connect, okay? Connect. Again, so this is on the Nine of Fire and the New Beginnings. We are the world. You know, the part of this is you are part of this bigger universe. You are part of this bigger, well, bigger world, which is part of this bigger universe. You know, what I love about something like this is that, you know, even though this is, there is so much going on that you are the uniquely you, okay? And you have to know that about yourself, that you know, even if there is so much going around, you are still very, very special and needed in this universe, okay? And your last card here, now this is the mystery card. Okay, turning in, turning in. Now, is that, you know, this is interesting because this is turning in, but is that so that you can block out the, you know, the excess energies? Sure. Is that so that you can open yourself up to your supernatural um, power, being, you know, divine voice of the universe, your, you know, angels, you know, higher power, spirit guides, whoever that is, yes. But again, you know, even though there's all this noise around her, look at the peace that she's in. So this is a really strong energies for you. Um, you know, you have a lot of potential to move um, actually, to move, you have a, there's a lot of potential for you to, uh, you know, I, I, you know, to physically move. Now, I'm, you know, that could be move to a new job, move to a new position. Um, it's, it's also I'm feeling a lot of executive energy here. Also, you know, um, just kind of, you know, just to a, a higher place, a higher step. But I also feel a physical move for many of you also here. It's just again. You know, the king of water, while that brings a lot of love, I feel like it's kind of like, you know, don't necessarily, you know, and you need to, you need that. You need that. I don't want you to um, stagnate. I don't want you to not move. Okay. So one last card. Let's see. For my Aquariuses. Okay. we got two cards, actually. Face down. First card. The four of Raphael water energy again and this is seek out other possibilities look for the magic in life be aware of your own emotions you can move forward there are possibilities that could be opening up to you things that you didn't even think about okay you know and i and i there's a car i don't know is somebody buying a new car is somebody driving a car when with the car a lot of times cars mean to me Things are moving, you're traveling, you're working, you know, so there could be some travel changes or it could just be your path is just moving. There's a lot of movement for you, my Aquarius is here. Now this one is face down, but it's reversed. So let's see what we have here, the King of Raphael. So it's interesting that you started with the King of Water and this is also the King of Water. So again, yes, it is safe to trust, which is really, really something my Aquarius is you know, you, you've learned to be very wary, you know, W-A-R-Y, very like, okay, you're right, yeah, sure, okay. But during this time, it is safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Okay, many things. Follow your creative passions. So lots, again, there's lots of movement here for you, There, but it's positive movement. You need to, though, go with the movement. You need to actually move with it. I don't feel like you, remember last year, I, I felt like you were like holding on to the door jam and the universe was trying to push you a little bit. No, I, 
It's just kind of like, I feel like you might be a little bit too comfortable, maybe a little bit too complacent. And it's like, use this energy because the energy wants to move you forward. Is that a new job? Yes. Is that, again, I feel movement. So that could be moving, actually picking up your residence and moving too. Okay, so lots of cool energy for you. Lots of interesting energy. I really, again, you know, stand firm, new beginnings. You know, you are an integral part of a bigger picture. You are who you are. Happy birthday to you. So, my Aquarians, if you enjoy my readings, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. But my Aquarius is, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.